Thank you for your interest in the Google Cloud Marketplace, where your customers can discover, procure, deploy, and manage top cloud solutions from Google Cloud and its partner ecosystem. This video covers the private offer creation flows step-by-step -step and is intended for marketplace partners. In addition to this tutorial, partners interested in maximizing your success on Google Cloud Marketplace should check out our Google Cloud Marketplace Partner Fundamentals course linked in the description. Let's dive in. Producer Portal is where partners onboard Google Cloud Marketplace and manage their products. Partners can access it by clicking on Producer Portal on the Marketplace left navigation from within the Google Cloud console. Publishing a product unlocks simple online distribution directly to Google Cloud customers in over 200 regions worldwide, or optionally through a Google Cloud reseller. When publishing a transactable product to Google Cloud Marketplace, you can select the purchasing model that works best for your solution. We offer enterprise-ready purchasing models with the option of free trials. Our purchasing models are free. Customers can use your product free of charge. Bring your own license. Customers pay you directly for the product. Usage-based and commitments. Customers pay for your product based on metrics that you choose. Additionally, you can create minimum spend commitments using private offers. Flat fees. Customers pay a flat rate for access to software and its features. Flat fees with usage. Customer pays a fee for using the software, which includes a feature set and usage. Any additional usage incurred beyond what's included in the fee is charged for. Once you have onboarded with your preferred purchasing model and have published a transactable product, you can configure a negotiated enterprise contract called a private offer. This capability is the second option in the producer portal's left side navigation menu. Click on Private Offers tab. Within Private Offers, you'll be greeted with an option to create a private offer and by a table view, where you can see any prior private offers you have generated to send out to your customers. There's a lot of relevant information here, including the different states of your private offers. To create a new private offer, click Create Offer. You'll enter the private offer creation flow, which will guide you through each step in the configuration process. The first step is to select the product and plan you want to create the private offer for. In this example, we'll choose a SaaS product. However, private offers can also be created for VM and Kubernetes products. For this example, we will select a plan onboarded with a flat fee with usage purchase model. Upon selecting the plan, you'll see the default feature set that this product includes in the public plan view. You can modify these features for the private offer by selecting Update Features. This enables you to customize the availability and quantities per feature for this specific deal. Click Next. Now, you will indicate the recipient of this private offer. This can be either an end customer or a reseller if the product is being resold. You'll enter it in the customer billing account, which the customer or reseller can provide. Within the description of this video, we've linked documentation to help customers find the ID. Then you will enter the customer organization name, the name of the specific point of contact at the customer to whom you'll send the offer, their email address, and any notes you'd like to include in the customer's view of the offer. This private offer will apply to all customer projects assigned to the specified billing account. Click Next. You'll then provide a sales contact who the customer would reach out to at your organization if they have any questions on this private offer. You can also add notes that your organization will see in the private offer dashboard. We've seen partners use this for order numbers, procurement IDs, or other CRM IDs to track deals within tools they use internally. Click Next. You will now configure the pricing and payments for this private offer. This is where you select the payment schedule, contract duration, and discounts for this deal. Click on Configure to set up these details. Here, you can specify a custom contract duration and installment schedule. Each installment can be up to a year long, and each subsequent installment must be of equal or larger value than the previous installment. For example, you could configure a three-year contract with three equal annual prepayments, or each payment could be larger than the last if you and the customer expect usage to grow over the contract's duration. 
But don't worry about future-proofing your offer now. You can add installments to active deals or modify them as long as they haven't occurred yet and as long as the total contract value remains constant or grows. Next, you will enter an offer acceptance deadline. This is the latest date by which the customer can accept the offer. It can be up to three months from the offer published date. Expiration is always at the very end of the day, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time on the selected date. If the customer does not accept the offer before this deadline, the customer will no longer have access to it and its status will show as expired in your private offer dashboard. Click Next. Almost finished. Now, select the software license terms you want the customer to agree to for your solution. You can use Google's standard end-user license agreement, EULA, or you can upload a custom deal-specific one in PDF format. You also provide a display name for these custom terms so the customer can easily identify them. Reusing previously agreed to terms with an existing customer could save time by allowing you and your customer to skip redundant legal reviews. Click Next. Now that you've fully configured your private offer, you can review it for accuracy. Double check that it's precisely what you and your customer have negotiated, especially the included features and pricing details. When comfortable with this private offer configuration, click Generate URL. If there are any lingering errors, the UI will indicate them. If the private offer is error-free, you will be reminded that you will not be able to modify any parameters once you click Generate URL. You can always replace a private offer if you need to start over. Once you click Generate URL, you can copy and paste it into an email to your customer so they can easily access it directly. We provide an example message you can use for inspiration in our Sending an Offer documentation, which we'll also link to in the description. Once the customer accepts your offer, it will go into effect immediately for VM and Kubernetes products. For SaaS products, your organization may need to approve the entitlement before customer usage can begin. Whether you select Approve Offer in the Private Offers Overview table or via API, please ensure resources are ready to deploy before approval. And that's it. With Google Cloud Marketplace Private Offers, your customers can discover, procure, deploy, and manage the cloud software they want with the flexible pricing, payment, and terms they need. Thank you for being a Google Cloud Partner.